It's always a pleasure bringing the word of God to the marketplace, especially here in this shop. If you look around, these are young people, about a um, hundred of them who work around here. And God has been gracious. We've been able to reach them. Many of them have gotten saved. In fact, I can say that about 70% of them are born again. And we praise God for that. I want you to continue praying for us. I want you to continue uh, telling the Lord to open more doors for us because we have the heart. And we are willing to go and preach the gospel. The Lord bless you. I want you also to think of the favor of God upon your life. Uh, it is not there for nothing. Just like it was for Joseph, the favor that came upon him was for the good of other people. As the Lord lifts you, as the Lord blesses you, I want you to know He's blessing you at such a place to be a blessing to somebody. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The story of Joseph, you know it very well. That when the brothers noticed that the father loved Joseph so much and giving him a coat of many colors. And a coat of many colors is favor. There are some people who look at the favor in your life and they are not happy with you. The brothers of Joseph were never happy with him. Just because the father loved him. You see, there are many things God is going to do for you. He's going to make you a manager one day. How many want to be managers in the future? I'll be interested to know. And, and God also would want to see that desire. You want to be a manager somewhere. Managing the other people. Everybody is reporting to you. Let me see by a show of hands. Amen. Amen. That first hand that was up, you're becoming a manager. How many want to be assistant managers? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, how many want to own their own businesses? Everybody want to own your business. Oh, praise the Lord. I'm happy. I also want to own more and more. Praise God. Uh, you see, that's why God has put you here. When you're faithful to somebody else and you do the work very well, you also, you, you will harvest the same. Praise God. And so I want that dream to remain alive. So when they saw that David, had, I mean Joseph, Joseph had a lot of favor, they started thinking evil of him. You remember the story of how they put him in the pit. And from the pit, they sold him out. He landed to Pharaoh's house. And there God was with him. God was with Joseph. Wherever you shall be, God shall be with you. Whether they have wished you well or they have not wished you well, your mark shall be, God shall be with you. Whether you find yourself in the pit, wherever you shall be, just know very well, God is going to be with you. Say, God is going to be with me. God is going to be with me. In the pit, he's going to be with me. In the pit, he's going to be with me. In Pharaoh's house, he's going to be with me. In the prison, he's going to be with me. Because if, if you follow the story of Joseph, you'll find they threw him even in the prison. But God was with him. Even there, the favor of God was with him. And he ended up in the palace. And uh, in Genesis 50 verse 20, is where now the brothers, after the death of Joseph, they are coming, they are thinking, maybe our brother is going to revenge. When you have done somebody wrong, and then they have ascended into power, the first thing you think is that they are going to revenge. And they are coming kneeling before Joseph. But Joseph is telling them, I've got no issue about you. I have forgiven you. You meant it for evil against me, but God meant it for good. That's why he has brought it to pass that I am now the highest in this land. This is what Joseph is telling them. So that I can be hope to many people, for many to be saved. God is going to raise you up. But I want you to do like Joseph when you get there. Do not revenge. Turn to your neighbor, tell them, God is going to lift you, but when you get there, do not revenge against your enemies. Preach to them and tell them, you shall forgive them. You shall give them food. You shall create for them opportunities. God is getting you there. But be like Joseph. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify your name. We worship you. That God, you're lifting us up. 
that our story is going to change. That our story is going to change like Joseph's story. The favor that you've placed upon us, O oh God. That even when we have been thrown down in the pit, your love reaches us out and God gets us out. When we are in Pharaoh's house, your love also reaches out to us right there. Where we have been put in prison, O oh God. Your love has reached us, O oh God. And we glorify your name. Father, we thank you this morning. And I thank you for these dear ones who are listening to me this morning. As you lift them, O oh God. As you bless them, O oh God. As you bless them, O oh God. In positions of authority. I pray in the name of Jesus. That, O oh God, when their brothers come and kneel before them, O oh God. That they shall find it in their hearts, O oh God. To forgive them, O oh God. To provide for them to be good to them, O oh Lord. So that your name may be glorified, O oh Lord Jesus. I thank you for every desire that is in their hearts, O oh God. All of them have lifted up their hands, O oh God, saying, One day they want to own their businesses, O oh God. They would want to be great in this land. And I agree with them in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let it be unto them as they have prayed, O oh Father, that your favor, O oh God, shall make a way for them, O oh Lord. Your grace, O oh God, shall make a favor a way for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let every barrier that stands on their way. Now be removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let every hindrance that prevents them from rising. Let that hindrance be removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Ashame their enemies. O oh Lord God. Remove them from their way. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray from this week. O oh God supernatural help divine intervention oh god your grace coming upon these people in the name of jesus christ i pray that there shall be signs of miracles wonders oh god great things happening in their lives in the name of jesus christ i pray that they shall come to know you in a better way oh god they shall see you and they shall praise you all their lives in the name of jesus christ and I pray for the families they represent, oh God. Reach those families with your favor, oh God. Even this morning, even this morning, oh God. Reach them with your healing. Reach them, oh God, with open heaven. Reach them, oh God, with open, open doors. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed and we have believed. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Thanking Him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want you to think about the favor of God throughout this week. Even as you work, I want you to know that God is with you. The Lord bless you. Yes, you are the Lord.